This new dude that just fought in the, the UFC. Oh, my God. Did you see that guy? Yeah. Shyman. Shyman. Yeah. Shy Why not? He's a savage, though. He's Are good, we talking dude. about the Russian dude? Yeah. Oh, my God. He's How scary looking he's dude, striking. dude. Oh, that yeah, dude he's terrifying with nasty. the one eye. That dude is nasty. Isn't it crazy how good he can fight with one eye? <laughs> he got to have two eyes, no, Joe. He's got one eye. Come on. A true sports talent ascended from the peaceful Arkas village in Buznask region of Dagestan, Sharaputin Magomedov. <laughs> his story began on the soccer fields of his hometown where he competed for the local team. But an accident on the soccer field put all of his dreams about professional career on the green lawn and shiny boots to rest. Not limiting himself to one sports discipline, Shara got interested in boxing and impressed his coach with his passion and talent, which could be seen with the naked eye. Soon, he became the prize winner of the town's championship and then took an adventure to other combat sports. From school number eight in Makachkala to Moscow's Agrarian College, Shara continued to win becoming a master of sports in Thai boxing. He was a three-time Moscow champion, two-time Moscow Cup winner, and even won by knockouts at the SKL Cup twice. Today, we will tell you the story of Shara Magomedov, the fighter whose fights will never bore you, while his technique is going to impress even the most captious and grouchy fans. Get ready for an exciting immersion in the world of real fights. The striker team is out here as always. Hit the champion likes, punch the subscribe button and high kick the bell. Leave the comments with four words below. Are you ready? Here we go. Shara Bullet Yin Chang Bao Squeezing almost everything he could from the amateur career and getting bored to fight for the medals and cups, the ginger pirate began to fit out his ship to land at the coast of professional MMA fights in China. Such a bay for our Jack Sparrow, oh wait, Captain Jack Sparrow of course, happened to be a local league called Chin Wu Men. Sure, for the first MMA bout, Magomedov was given an opponent with a rather shabby record of 13 wins and 7 losses, and a questionable nickname of Microwave. But to be fair, Shara's record wasn't any better. Zero victories and zero defeats. But it's the same story in the videos about any vivid fighter who managed to break into the world's best league. The introduction is getting a bit long, but that will make up for how quick the fight was we're about to see in a second. The bold ref explains the rules so the bad boys won't hit each other at the back of the head poke in the eyes and hit between the legs of the opponent. Just routine. Now let's get to the fight. The Chinese tries to pressure our pirate, but the latter retreats to the hold only to cannon at his opponent with frenzy and new blades. And a simple feeling out process also has its utility. A hit to the leg from Magomedov for good measure. Oh wow, Bao shows like, come on, do it again. And Shara does it, but this time throws a powerful kick straight to the Chinese head. The strike happened to be grazing, though palpable. Then another high kick. God damn, the fighter from Celestial Empire has a granite chin and nuts of steel, and he is not willing to slow down his onslaught. And now Bao decided to throw a couple of shots in return for those kicks. Thrusting, one, two. But Bullet counters with a knee to the midsection. Shara throws a lot of feints and overloads its opponent's nervous system. One, two from the ginger predator straight to the chin of the Chinese. Then the kick to Bao's head. His leg softens up and body instinctively moves towards the fence so he doesn't go down. A flying kick and a right hand to the dome. A couple of technical feints and boom, another kick to the head. A combination with hands, but Bao miraculously keeps standing on his feet. God damn it! back fist to the head. Oh my god, a barrage of strikes. It's clear that a local fighter doesn't want to keep going and almost asks the ref for help. Shara Bullet, Wulan Mahamahityali. As he continued his ascension to MMA Olympus, Shara Bullet decided to stay in China for a bit longer to test his deadly skills on fighters of not such a high level. 
and Chinwu promotion owners were also high on the vivid Dagestani who skewered his enemy's head on sharp elbows, kicks and punches. Another victim happened to be Wuhan Mahamatihali, with 11 wins and 7 losses. Oh my god, hardcore leagues of a third echelon. The tale of the tape frame shows that these guys really need the paycheck from this fight to simply survive in stern reality. I really like this kind of vibe of these battles that not too many people are excited about when the Warriors look shows that they don't even know what awaits them in the future. Frail ref separates fighters to the corners and a bit nervously waits for the bell to ring and start the fight. Magomedov rushes at his opponent and not with strikes but with two heavy high fives to greet his vis-a-vis. -vis. Athletes take the center of the octagon and the viewers are getting ready to see the brawl. Shara circles around the Chinese and waits for the right moment. A whipping leg from the ginger pirate. The Chinese instinctively starts to retreat as he seems to figure out that Magomedov has a real power of Highlanders in his limbs. Bullet backs his opponent up to the fence. A light middle kick to test the waters. High kick misses the target. And now Shara's opponent starts to fight back, though both of them are out of danger. But what a pressure the Dagestani predator puts on the Chinese fighter. I can feel the tension of his nervous system through the screen. A switch kick to the dome. The Chinese warrior tries to get a lock on Magomedov's body. But what happened? Wulan simply folds and I don't understand which of the strikes made the Chinese athlete get in such a position. The referee stops the fight as it's a no-brainer that it's all over for the athlete in black and red shorts. Let's rewind a couple of moments back to figure out which of the shots folded the Chinese. Or maybe Magomedov mastered the art of no-touch fighting. What a sequence! Boom! Knee to the liver! A fatal knee simply pierced the liver of poor Wulan and screw the fact that his organ has an ability to generate. Only the wildest warriors can get back to their feet, but as you can see, Wulan is not one of them. Clean finish. Shara Bullet, Yeshan Yersin. Another fight that took place in the People's Republic of China between our ginger hero and Yershan Yersin delivered another vivid finish. Unlike in the previous fight, Yershan immediately started to pressure the Dagestani and implement his wrestling game plan in hopes to take the pirate from the Russian shores down, all while eating numerous knees to the body. A failed throw from Yersin. Shara instantly gets to the mount position. Oh my god! Magomedov starts to tear his vis-a-vis -vis down, but Yeshan is not a timid type and tries to execute a leg submission. Athletes are back to their feet. We are about to see a dynamic fight. Flying knee from Sharaputin. What a fight! Hard low kick. Yersin's leg buckles. Left to the head but lands on the block. Knee to the chest from Magomedov. Yeshan grabs the ginger's leg. Tries to score a takedown. Bullet leans against the fence and acts very cautiously, not letting the Chinese Kraken take his ship to the bottom and shooting back with knees to deliver. Throw attempt from the Chinese athlete, but the Russian was ready again. Magomedov tries to push on the head. Boom! 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 Shots from the clinch, and it's clear that Yersin is stunned. Yershan retreats, not to run away, but to grab Shara's leg again. And god damn it, he succeeds in taking Sharabutin down. But Magomedov lands shots on his vis a vis, who just lays on the ground and doesn't defend himself almost at all. Stop it, ref! And he's done! What a fight, what a relentless Chinese! Ye Shan should be praised for his unshakable will to force wrestling under the storm of strikes. Shara Bullet, Vasily Zubkov. Before we dive into the symphony of strikes from every limb, I need to explain what Pop MMA is. Simply speaking, it's some sort of a media league, but because post-Soviet space has many fighters with a rich amateur background, one wouldn't say that warriors from the Chinese promotion Chin Wu Men are more skilled fighters than athletes from Russian Pop MMA. Fighters meet in the center of the octagon. As always, athletes feel each other out before landing punches to the body of their opponent. Nagomedov presses his vis-a-vis, -vis, eating a light low kick. 
Shara throws his leg kick and in a dangerous front kick almost grazes Zubkov's nose. Vasily immediately tries to answer back and aggressively enters the clinch. Bullet presses his opponent to defense. Vicious battle for positioning. Throws hard knees, but the ref was not impressed by that and separated the fighters. High kick to the head from Magomedov. Versatile leg strikes from Ginger Predator. After that episode, fighters tied up in the clinch and spent the rest of the round at the fence. Second round. Shara applies pressure and throws his fast legs. Vasily is really uncomfortable and he is forced to eat all of the leg strikes from Magomedov. Shara even allowed himself to land a long combination of kicks on his opponent. And the fence behind Vasily's back did not let him retreat. Boom! Knee to the body. But Zubkov grabs the leg and tries to take the ginger pirate down again. But thanks to his physique and Dagestani blood, Shara doesn't allow himself to get taken down. The ref had to separate the fighters and Shara went back to battering his opponent's legs, which were already hurt. But after another convergence, Vasily grabs the leg of his opponent and Magomedov tries to keep his balance. Zubkov scores the takedown. Shara gets up and now Vasily is laying on his back. And at the end of the second round, Magomedov explodes and starts to blast his opponent with elbows. Third round, and Shara lands a side kick to the head. Low kick, side kick to the body, another side kick to the head. Vasily decides to explode and rushes at his enemy. But boom, the left sends Vasily down to the ground. Vasily wants to pay back his vis-a-vis -vis again, but Magomedov gets into a tie clinch. Knees from hell, uppercut from Zubkov, but Shara reaches the head with his knee. Another one, more to the body. Vasily falls down and here comes the Dagestani finish. Boom, boom, boom. Magomedov lets Zubkov get up, but it's so hard for him. Oh God, can he do it? And ref stops it. Tough fight for both athletes, but especially for Vasily. Shara Bullet, Eldar Garofutinov. On April the 13th of 2021, people just started to get used to life without a lockdown, and together with other regular folk, our ginger kraken came outside driven by the desire to tear the scalp off his next victim. It happened to be a relatively unknown fighter, Eldar Garofutinov. This battle took place in the same pop MMA organization, Nashedelo. But this time, Magomedov decided to participate in a full-blown Grand Prix. The promotion announced that the winner would also get the apartments in Moscow, and our pirate got tempted to land on the shore. As every pirate needs a warehouse to store all the gold that he gets for slicing people up with his limbs. And by the way, do you know why Magomedov is a gangster? Because it was a heavyweight Grand Prix, guys. But it wasn't a problem for Sharaputin, as the bigger ship, the easier it is to blast with cannons. Bell fights on. Let the spectacle begin. The fighters feel each other out, scoping for brigs in each other's armor. A sharp low kick from Agomedov, and then silence again. The opponent tried to answer with a clumsy leg kick, but Shara explodes. Axe kick, hand combination. Eldar jumps for the legs, takes his opponent down, but Shara gets up. Garofutinov doesn't give up and ultimately takes the pirate to the ground. Eldar gets behind the back and Magomedov finds himself in a tough fight. Garofutinov tries to execute a choke, but Magomedov controls his hand. And the only thing left for Eldar is to land light shots so the ref won't stand them up. But the ref does it anyway. Athletes got back to their feet, Shara falls out of position. Unsuccessful spinning elbow, and Elder tries to take Magomedov down again and hangs on his back like a backpack. Next, we see a vicious and boring part of the fight. Until the ref decided to put the fighters back up, exchange of middle kicks, spinning elbow, kicks to the body, and once again, Elder tries to drag the pirate to the bottom. But Shara perfectly feels the balance, and now Garofutinov gets to a compromised position himself, holding one leg of the Dagestani. Shara throws dangerous elbows to the head of his victim, but Elder sticks to his guns, 
fighters are back to their feet again, but Magomedov can use only one leg as the Tata doesn't let him go. More vicious elbows to Elder's Dome. He is forced to let go of the Dagestani's limb. Tie clinch. Boom. Knee. Boom. Boom. Two more. Garifutinov goes down and instinctively grabs the Ginger Predator's head. And Shara starts to show his vis-a-vis -vis his place. But the Dagestani's plans get messed up by the bell. The first round is over. The second one begins in the same slow pace. Boom! Precise left to the chin. Elder gets out of position. Spinning strike from the Tata, but Elder is like in slow motion and immediately eats 1-2 from Sharaputin. Takedown attempt, but Shara stuffs it. Garifutinov turns to his back and invites the pirate to scrap it out in the hold, but eats a hard shot to the belly. Another one. Pokes shots at his opponent, not letting him get uncomfortable. The ref puts athletes back to Magomedov's realm and stand up. Vicious low kick, which was clearly palpable. Another hard kick. An elder dives for the legs like in slow motion, grabs one leg, but Magomedov keeps his balance and throws his bombs to the wrestler's head. Clinch again. Boom, boom. Knees to the head. Boom. Sharp knee lands to the body. Another one. And then again. One more knee to the dome, another knee to the temple. Oh my god! Elder goes down and even the commentators are shocked with such a number of knees in one minute of the fight. Magomedov gets after Garifutinov like a cheater after an antelope. But Elder ties with his vis-a-vis -vis and half a minute later, fighters are back to their feet. Left to the liver from Elder. Guys, this man shows that he can strike. But fighters clinch again and simply throws vicious knees to the body of his opponent. Oh man, what a fight! The Tatar jumps for the Dagestani's legs again and finds himself in another disadvantageous position and Shara pokes his opponent's head till the end of the round, scoring points and winning the second round. Round 3 Fighters hug each other and let us know that it's just a sport where it's essential to respect your opponent. The next three minutes start slowly and then BOOM! Leg to the head. Vicious low kick. How did Elder not go down from that? Jumps for Magomedov's legs. But the Degastani easily stops these attempts. Fighters back to their feet again. BOOM! High kick just grazes the head. Garifutinov is exhausted and is forced to resort to wrestling. But Shara sees everything. And boom, boom. Elbows to the head. Bullet turns his vis-a-vis -vis and immediately gets to the side control form where he peppers poor Elder with his shots. The Tatar gets into a wild storm while the ginger pirate unloads from all cannons. Fighters get back to their feet again. What a warrior Garifutinov is. Bam! Another leg to the head. Screw that, thinks Elder, and tries to grab the Dagestani's leg again, and finds himself on the bottom again, where Shara torments the Tata from the side control with his punches. The ref puts the fighters up. I think that the corner of Shara Putin said, let him rest a little bit. Humanism, humanism. You cannot argue with the crowd. Elder got up as a true warrior should. The Tatar throws his strikes, but all of them miss. Elder jumps for the legs, but it seems like he ate a knee. Garifutinov on his back again and is forced to eat a portion of whooping from a ginger pirate. Bell, another scalp in the chest of our formidable pirate. But the crowd also cheered for Elder, as not everybody has that kind of durability. I always tried to score a finish in my MMA bouts, but I don't know where you found this rock. He's a real rock. I don't know how to hurt him. I don't want to hurt a human like that. You see, today, due to his heart, it happened to be an exception on my record. Shara Bullet Yakub Kadiev. The same year of 2021 and the ship of our pirates sails up the new bay called AMC Fight Night, one of the leading leagues in the post-Soviet space. Magomedov's opponent was Yakub Kadiev. And god damn it guys, Kadiev looks rather scary and it's interesting to find out if his appearance is deceptive. Let's dash our introduction with Magomedov's elbow dance. 
bold ref starts the fight. Guys, grab popcorn as the fight between the Chechen and Dagestani can't not be entertaining. Let's go! Yakub instantly starts to pressure his vis-a-vis. -vis. Ginger Eagle circles around the cage, sharp low kick, and boom! A combination from Kadiev. Leg kick from the Dagestani. Yakub misses, but did you see how this guy charges up? Damn! Magomedov throws his kicks, and it's clear that Shara is more technically sound, but Yakub tries to deprive him of space and take him by an onslaught. Boom! And a hard low kick just bends the leg of Kadiev. The pressure doesn't stop. Hand combination, but everything lands on the block of Magomedov. And he answers with a middle kick. Fighters get to the center of the octagon, which plays into the hand of Sharaputin. Boom! Middle kick, then a low kick. Do you hear these sounds? Ooh, wild kicks! Here, Shara shows that his fight IQ is on a different level. To batter the body and legs of the opponent who applies heavy pressure is a great game plan to win the fight. And Yakub is already limping. The Dagestani faints, not baiting on the provocations of his opponent. Slap! Leg to the head! But Kadyev doesn't want to change his game plan and starts to pressure Magomedov again. A heavy hand from Yakub, but what a beautiful evasion from Magomedov. Distance management, timing just brilliant. Boom! Leg to the head. Boom! You ask for more? A knee to the body? Magomedov freezes up a little bit and eats a combination, but he is not in danger. Yakub loads up his right hand and it reaches the target. Strike to the body, Shara starts to retreat while Kadyev goes after his vis-a-vis. -vis. Tight clinch! Bam! Bam! A bunch of knees, just a brawl, a true fight at the bar. Look at these marks after the kicks and punches of Magomedov on Yakub's body. Kadyev is a warrior and he doesn't give up. But boom! A knee to the liver. Yakub is feeling really bad. Boom! Another knee lands on the liver. The Chechen tries to survive. He withstands like a true warrior. Boom! Knee straight to the liver. And Kadyev simply folds. Oh my god! Crazy knees! Another stoppage victory for the Dagestani. Shara Bullet, Mikhail Alakaverian. On October the 16th of 2021, Shara took the fight against the athlete from Rostov, Mikhail Alakaverdian. I wouldn't say that it was a top opponent, but I also wouldn't say that he was a punching bag. The guy really had a professional record, 9 wins and 2 losses. Megomedov had a better one, 9 wins and 0 defeats. Well guys, let's get to the fight. Here we go! Fighters touched hands, but their faces clearly show that they wanted to taste each other's blood. Mikhail pressures Shara and deprives him of essential space. Low kick from Megomedov. High kick to the block. And Alakavodian tries to wrestle Shara. Ginger Predator controls everything and properly defends. Mikhail makes this fight boring as even wrestling can be dynamic and entertaining, but Alakavodian decides to stink it up. Shara loses balance and the fighter from Rostov tries to gain advantage. But Magomedov gets up. Athletes poke each other with fists. Sharaputin doesn't like the clinch, while Mikhail is where he wants to be. Ooh, knee to the body. Shara is in control and sees an exposed head and thrusts his elbow. Boom, boom. Knee to the head. But Magomedov gets hit himself. Hand combination to Mikhail's dome. Fighters clinch again. Knee to the head. Oh god, I wouldn't want to get hit with such a shot. Shara is charged up and invites Mikhail to brawl it out. Bam bam, one two. Left hand to the dome of the fighter from Rostov. Mikhail is stunned. It's clear that he is in groggy mode. Athletes are in the center of the octagon. Mikhail starts to go after Shara. Windmill shots to the air. Alakavodian pressures the Dagestani. Boom, elbow to the goddamn head. What an elbow! It should be framed up as a lethal weapon. By the way, one should definitely start talking after such a win. 
I'm not here just for the sake of it. I'm after the belt. As I said before, I don't care. Americans, even aliens, I came here to fight against anybody. Champions of 170, 185, get your belt ready. It doesn't matter to me who wins in the finale. I'm ready for the title fight. And I want to send a message to the champion. I sailed up to my shores, defended or vacated. Shara Bullet, Joel Dos Santos. A fifth fight for Magomedov in 2021. Believe it or not, but it's really five fights in one calendar year. Just think about it, guys. So many fights is something unbelievable. Sure, we remember those times when athletes had five fights in one night, but in our time, even five fights in one year is a truly impressive achievement. A true hardcore, just the way we like it, guys. Enough of formalities, let's get to the fight. As Magomedov shared the octagon with a really dangerous fighter who had dynamite in his hands. Bell, fight! Shara Bullet has an advantage in size. Let's see if he can capitalize on that. A common feeling out process from the fighters. This time it's Shara Putin who presses his opponent to the fence. High kick from Shara misses. The Brazilian resorts to wrestling, but nothing works. Bam! Middle kick, but to the block. Joel already looks weathered. Fighters circle around at the fence waiting for the moment. A whipping low kick. Be careful Brazilian, as these kicks can make you lose the ability to walk for some time. Another low kick. Switch knee. God damn it, what striking? Bam! Leg to the head. Low kick misses. Magomedov became aggressive, like he felt the fear and the blood of his vis-a-vis. -vis. The Dagestani even fell out of position. Jab from Shara. Dos Santos jumps for the legs, but Magomedov stuffs the takedown. And fighters are in the clinch again, but Magomedov is alert and continues to throw. Boom! Boom! Elbow to the Brazilian head. Boom! Another knee to the belly and a high kick to the running opponent. Shara is so charged up that even the fence got a piece of it. Bam! Hard kick to the leg. Shara faints and downloads his opponent's reaction, namely the way he dips his head, and boom! Knee to the head. Joel tries to survive in wrestling, and Shara knocks the Brazilian off like he is a sack of potatoes. The Dagestani punishes the legs of Lang Dos Santos a bit, and then the ref put the fighters back in the stand-up. Nothing happens till the end of the first round, so let's wind forward a bit. Third round. Kick on the Brazilian and bam! He simply destroyed his opponent with a heel. It's over. What a finish. Shara Bullet, Pavel Belutsky. After the Brazilian, Shara had a fight against Pavel Belutsky. Sure, he wasn't Brazilian, but an adept of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. You know, I have the same dream, the same goals to become the MMA world champion, multiple times now, because I have already become the world champion in Brazil. I won the belt. Bell, fight! And as usual, Shara starts the fight with a powerful low kick. Switch kick, but misses. Side kick to the body. He wants to change more, but gets interrupted with a 1-2 from the opponent. Shara likes it, and he invites the brawl. Another low kick. One more, but misses. God, how powerful the shots of Magomedov are. The Dagestani thrust another low kick, and Pavel is already limping. Shara pressures his opponent. Counter from Magomedov. One, two, and a high kick, but it's blocked. Bullet doesn't give his opponent any space. Imagine yourself in this situation for a second. You're deprived of space, getting pressured, leg is limping, and the low kicks keep coming. The movement is slowed down, and all of that because of the ginger Dagestani pirate. Finally, Pavel breaks into the center of the octagon. Belitsky fights back, looping 1-2, and Pasha goes for more. Magomedov doesn't like that and wants to answer back. Dagestani jab to the chin. Monstrous power, goddammit. Belitsky goes down, and Magomedov finishes his opponent. But there is a place for respect even in such a bloody sport. Shara hugs Pavel and says something to his ear. I'm sure he said some kind words. 
By the way, it was a championship fight and the stern pirate got his booty in the form of a belt and Pavel heard some genuine words from Magomedov. Knowing that Shara is in the UFC right now, in my mind, these words shine in a new splendor now. I'm sorry I forgot to thank my opponent. He's a good guy. Pavel, thank you. Actually, I watched his fight and I knew that it is a very important fight and it is a very serious test because, sure, he is young today, but tomorrow he might present himself in a completely different way. And I think that if he keeps on working, he might even get to the UFC. Shara Bullet, Sergei Martinov. After slaying Bulutsky, Shara hopped in his ship and sailed to the new shores in search of new scalps. And on August the 13th of 2022 in Dagestan, there was an exciting fight of Magomedov at RCC 22 intro tournament where he faced a dangerous opponent in Sergei Martinov known as the Russian Butcher. This fight was supposed to be a true test as Magomedov was about to face an experienced opponent who had 20 fights, winning 16 of them. The question was, could Magomedov stop the onslaught of this goddamn butcher and extend his winning streak? Or he becomes a piece of meat on the butcher's table? All eyes were on this exciting fight, which wasn't only about two prominent fighters, but also different styles. What a stare down, guys. Fighters drill each other with their eyes. What a slaughter we're about to see. The bell rings and fighters are circling around the octagon trying to obtain the data. Vicious low kick from the Dagestani. High kick, but unfortunately misses. Warriors do not force things to happen and wait for the opponent to make a mistake and slay him. Big left hook from the butcher. Shara tries to slow his vis-a-vis -vis down by blasting his legs. But boom, he himself eats a dangerous single punch. Magomedov keeps the distance and throws kicks at Sergei, while Martinov waits for the right moment. That's why the casual viewers think that this fight is boring. But this fight shows that two athletes studied each other and came up with a proper game plan. The only question is who is going to implement it and who will fail. Brazilian kick guys, or a question mark kick, whatever you like. But Sergei masterfully evades it. Boom, left to the head. Small exchange, middle kick from the Dagestani. Fighters separate and start to wait. Sharp kick to the body, then a low kick, another low. Martinov can't find his distance and misses. Another kick to the butcher's leg. Boom, eats a high kick offered by Magomedov. Next, Sharif threw a lot of low kicks, while Sergei ultimately couldn't land his hammers to the ginger head. Second round, left hand from Martinov. Another one, but eats a knee to the liver. Middle kick to the same spot. Shara continued to implement his game plan and battered the legs of Sergei and controlled the tide of the fight. Martinov goes for boarding, but Shara unloads his cannons, grab from Magomedov, and a leg to the liver on the exit. Now the Dagestani pressures, backs his opponent up to the fence and starts to blast Sergei from all guns. Sergei wants to run away, but Magomedov catches his vis-a-vis -vis once again. Boom, leg to the liver, but Martinov blocks on autopilot. Sergei recovered. One, two from the fighter from Rostov. I'll give a word to Nate Diaz. He wants to share his thoughts on this sequence. Yeah, oh, you're a wrestler. <laughs> you're a wrestler, right? Let's get back to the fight. Sergei finally takes Megomedov down, but Shara quickly gets up. Then Bullet got back to blasting Martinov. Slap, low kick, boom to the belly. Shara enters the clinch with a feint. Wow, immediately throws a knee. Bam, second one. Knocks the mouth guard of his opponent. One of the best tie clinches I have ever seen. Another low kick, dodge, middle kick, high kick. Just a parade of leg strikes. Superman punch, but Martinov also lands. Switch knee to the body and then a high kick with feint. Mouth guard flies out again. Left leg of Sergei is battered and about to break down soon. But the bell saves tough Martinov. Third round, what a fight guys. Shara looks fresh while the butcher is already tired and wants to get back to his butcher shop. 
but he keeps on pressing towards the Dagestani like a man, thinking that he is the predator. Vicious middle kick to Sergei's body. Hop, and Shara is already in the clinch. Catch a knee, buddy. Hands hit the air, and here's another knee to the butcher's head. Superman punch, and a leg on the exit. Fake punch, leg to the body, and a hand to the same spot from Magomedov. What is Sergei's body made of? Shara initiates clinch, uppercuts, but the Dagestani doesn't care and he unloads his knees. Poor Martinov loses his mouthpiece again. Shara is about to turn him into a meatloaf himself. Sergei wants to wrestle and I get it. Martinov is feeling really bad. Push kick. Sergei falls down, losing his balance. Dodge and a low kick. Great. Back fist from Shara, and Sergei puts his hands down, so the Dagestani simply thrusts his fist to his head. Low kick, back fist misses, back to the block, spinning strike, fighters get into a clinch, boom, boom to the head, boom to the body, to the head, Jesus, how does he keep standing? And the ref stops this beatdown. Shara bullet, Mikhail Rogozin. 3rd of December 2022, Shara had his third fight of the year. The opponent for Magomedov happened to be Mikhail Rogozin, a very formidable guy with a professional record of 19 victories and 5 losses. Tough fighter who is hard to finish, as he lost by a knockout only once in his career back in 2016, and he was on a solid streak of 4 wins. Me facing Misha is a big risk, but you know, no guts, no glory. Many really thought he shouldn't take the fight with such an opponent as Magomedov was in the process of signing the contract for the fight against Vladimir Miniev for the AMC Fight Nights title and Magomedov also was about to get a good buck for that. But only a bad captain doesn't take risks and our main hero is not one of them. As far as I remember, you saw the fight between Shara and Martinov live. How surprised were you that Rotovsky Butcher who was smashing everybody, had bloody fights, drained his opponents, lost that bad in terms of pace. What were your thoughts on that at this moment? Speaking about the fight, Shara was good that night. Seems like Sergei had a bad day. He didn't have a great showing in the cage, but that doesn't belittle the merits of Shara. Fight day, guys. Fasten up. The most formidable opponent in Magomedov's MMA career. Bell. Fight. As always, fighters don't rush, and the activity consists only of low kicks and measuring punches to the air, and of course, plenty of feints. Great shot from Mikhail, but Shara sees and controls everything. Whipping kick to the body, and the same leg to the leg of Rogozin. Mikhail gets Magomedov out of position, but gets hit with a counter punch himself and eats a middle kick. Shara tries to cut Rogozin's leg to slow an agile fighter down, that's why he puts everything in his strikes. Mikhail jumps at his vis a vis, but eats big shots from Magomedov. Another kick to the leg, oblique kick, step back, flying knee, and a punch to the head. High kick, it hurts even through the block. Side kick to the body. Unsuccessful back fist from Magomedov, and Mikhail instantly gets behind the back of Sharabutin. Rogozin goes for the choke. Second round. Round started with the same leg strikes, but at a certain point, Rogozin decided to press his opponent. But boom! Eats a leg to the head, but Mikhail's corner shouts, Go with the strikes! And that's what he does. Cornered Lion is even more dangerous, thinks Misha, and he goes to the center of the octagon. Mutual back fists. Both fighters hit each other to the back of the head. What a moment! Hard low kick from Shara, but Mikhail also lands a jab. As soon as Rogozin starts to pressure Shara, he immediately eats a knee to the dome. Misha needs to make some changes as he is losing the fight, and he does so, namely jumping for the legs but Sharaputin covers and throws more knees. That was the pace of the second round. The next five minutes began with the Degastani nuclear legs to Rogozin. Low kick, a bit of rest, and then a high kick. Another low to Misha's poor leg. And a leg to the head again. 
Mikhail is tired of that and he decides to throw low kicks himself. Boom! And another one! Time plays in the hands of Magomedov. Any other fighter would have put their feet off the gas, but not Shara. He decides to turn it up even more. Proper sidekick makes Mikhail get to the fence. Bullet loads up his knee. Rogozin goes for the legs. Fighters are in the tie clinch. Dirty brawl. Just warriors. It's harder and harder for the legs of the Russian with every minute. Boom! But the Dagestani can't be stopped. Faint. Need a reaction and BAM! Another kick! But Charaputin doesn't let Misha go. Boom! Flying knee! Another knee! Left hook! Back fist from Rogozin misses, while kick to the body from Shara hits the spot. Rogozin retreats. Side kick! Kick to the body! Knee! Rogozin tries to wrestle, but Shara does everything right and even has time to land a couple of shots to Mikhail's head. No matter how badly the Dagestani wanted it, it's really hard to keep such a pace for the entire round, so the fight slowed down a bit. But the silence breaks by another low kick. Boom! Powerful left to the dome of Shara. Mikhail had to jump for the legs and gets to the bottom himself. Boom! Boom! Vicious elbows from Magomedov. After some time, fighters get back to their feet. By the end of the fight, Shara slowed down but still tried to throw a kick pushing himself off the fence but unfortunately missed. Boom! Leg to the body. Rogozin goes down. But Magomedov is not looking to get to the guard of his opponent and the ref stands the fighters back up. But here's the final bell and I think that nobody doubts the Dagestani's victory. To be honest, Misha is an opponent I wouldn't want to knock out. I want him to continue his career and get back to his family healthy. Shara Bullet, Bruno Silva. Going through wars in the amateur scene, professional battles and diving into pop MMA, Shara Putin finally signed with the UFC and got a really tough opponent. A long-awaited event for the post-Soviet space as local media already had time to bother Shara with questions regarding his move to the world's best league. But there were also many people who were outright surprised with the news about his signing. You might ask why. It's simple. After Magomedov's fight in pop MMA, a certain pool of his fans stopped seeing him as a serious fighter. And one could understand it, as for example, it's hard to imagine a top, young and renowned American boxer going against Logan Paul. Long introduction guys, let's get to the actual fight. It was simply spectacular. We cannot show everything as the UFC has a very strict policy. But you can… no, you must watch this fight if you haven't yet, or you will lose the status of a fan. In the first round, Bruno tried to converge and Shara blasted his opponent with leg kicks while the Brazilian wasn't brisky and when he was, the Dagestani was punishing him. Boom! High kick! 1-2 for a change! Flying knee! And here's the next 5 minutes. Figuring that he doesn't have chances on the feet, Bruno began to jump for the legs and quite successfully. But Shara was actively peppering Silva with his shots from the back. 10 seconds till the end and to damn In the third round, Magomedov was as active in the stand-up and when he was getting taken down, he threw his limbs to his vis-a-vis. -vis. And what about Bruno? The Brazilian tried to wrestle the Dagestani. I know that sounds silly. Shara was dismantling him both on the feet and on his back. That's how the third round went down. Magomedov wins by unanimous decision. Shara Putin is an example of hard work, viciousness and kindness at the same time. To go from a small village to the main promotion on the planet without one eye, it's commendable guys. The fighter with the technique, power and desire to win only by stoppages, what an explosive mix. I don't want to talk much about him in the end as the star of this guy only starts to shine to its fullest potential. So, I believe that it's not the last video about this fighter. And it's time for me to say goodbye. Until next time. I hope that you liked the video. Show your gratitude to our team by leaving a comment below. Hit the like as fast as Shara throws his low kicks. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button with an axe kick. See you soon.
problem, I'm wrong. Wait. Elbow, elbow, I'm wins. I'm Zizo, I'm wins. No problem, strike. Take down, no problem, I'm strike. Dangerous.